Okay, so today we are going to take a look at how to use Google Maps and Zillow <coughs> to help you with your um, projects. So first thing you need to do is go to Maps, and we don't need to get uh, all of New York. So here we have a view of Albany, and what we're doing here is we're going to take a look at some of the features um, at different scales to determine um, where different areas that will apply to different models of uh, urban layouts are evident. So maybe probably the easiest thing to look at is traffic first. Uh, right now it is 2.44 in the afternoon, so we can see uh, it looks like traffic is kind of light, um, and the exterior of the city is in a little bit, might some heavier areas here. So it looks like here it starts to get slow, and this is really slow on this axis here. Uh, but these main thoroughfares is, is pretty good access. Another thing we can do is come up here to show search options and results. Click on um, businesses. And what this does is it'll show um, businesses map that have themselves with Google, and depending where the clusters are, you can get an idea of where the central business district might be. Uh, you can zoom in a little. <coughs> there we go. And we can see there's lots of businesses that are located on these routes. Uh, uh, when you're down here, there's um, a, a pretty cluster of them. So. Put Albany in the center and zoom out. To see where the biggest clusters are with the businesses. Looks like right here along the riverfront, see the central business district right down here. Um, another thing you need to do is figure out residential areas. So, what we're going to do is zoom in. We'll get uh, we'll a set of roads there. It's um, uh, Henry Johnson Boulevard, the, the, where Henry Johnson Boulevard meets Central Avenue. We're going to come over here to this a different website, and this will be for North America because it has the information for that. But this is an example of some home views areas. So we're going to do that same place that we had in our other apps to do comparison. Okay, so where is Henry Johnson Boulevard? Over it. Oh, there's the river. Too far. Here's a current Henry Johnson Clinton Avenue. We see what the house is. A ten dollar house, uh, a five point five thousand dollar house, a thirty six thousand dollar house. So this is probably uh, not the best to live in. High crime, um, low housing costs. If we roll over here, we'll see some different prices. Okay, so this is you know within a mile and a half of house for one point three million three hundred sixty six thousand. Um, if you zoom out here, we can get to make a judgment on and try to determine um, what areas of the city are upper class housing and up and lower class housing. So let's take a click on Pine Hills here. See what we get. So Upper Hill, it's between five and a hundred thousand dollars. Everything here it looks like it's, it's averaging between a hundred eighty to three hundred thousand dollars. So comparatively, this is per class. But um, probably the best thing to do is go on uh, the Census Bureau's website and try to figure out what the median income is for Albany. So if people are uh, the housing costs are higher than the median income, they're probably um, upper class. So that is a uh, tool that you can use: Zillow.com and Google Maps to uh, take a look at features on the map and turn different areas of the sea to help with your project.